guys are started over here. Good everyone. I am here today with Natasha Margaritas. Hey guys. She is the presenter in the workshop facilitator for our IPV's upcoming workshop on public speaking. So I'm here to talk to her about the workshop and as well as about some of the why the workshop, why public speaking is so much important. So Natasha, from your view, public speaking is an important important skill that everyone needs, but why do you think that's more important in today's world? I think if you look at it from the perspective of um, all of us have technical skills. Yeah. We spend all of our lives developing these technical mm. skills. Yeah. And uh, what happens is somewhere along the way, we forget how to deal with people. Yeah. We forget how to communicate our ideas, our thoughts, our yeah. innovations. Yeah. And so we uh, eventually become very limited mm -hmm. in how to express ourselves. Yeah. And so all of this knowledge, all yeah. of this technical skill can sometimes be um, uh, just technical yeah. skill if, it's not, if you're not able to express it. Got it. Um, and so public speaking, I feel, is such a, a basic um, a basic quality that each and every yeah. one of us can have and I say quality uh, on purpose because um, it, it's a soft skill but also a hard skill yeah. uh, I think m we're moving into a world where we need to have it more as a hard skill in yeah. order for us to um, you know ha get higher paying jobs uh, be, be in positions of influence if yeah. we want to be in all of those things in our yeah. future and grow really as professionals as entrepreneurs even uh, we need to be able to take that on and um, and make it our own, really, in terms of public speaking. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I believe yeah, it's it's a yeah. critical skill that we yeah, should all have. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think what you, what you told about the public speaking and the expressing the ideas mm. is what this workshop is all about. Is your you know is that it gives you an ability to to express what's in your yes. head, yes, so that you can get your point across to the audience you know swiftly. Absolutely. So in terms of the upcoming workshop that we have on 21st of July, what are the the topics that you are sort of you know planning to cover and what some of the benefits that the participant can expect? Without giving too much away, um, I think the one thing that all of us um, get emotionally attached to mm. is stories. Mm. Um, when you hear a story about someone on the news or someone um, maybe at a birthday party or um, at a wedding, you, you get emotionally attached to it and you, um, you innately have that connection with them. Mm. And, and so storytelling is definitely going to be a key component on how to use it powerfully when you're speaking publicly, whether you're at a wedding or whether you're a stand-up yeah. meeting with your team, uh, whether your manager suddenly puts you on the spot yeah. and tells you to you know, give us a review of uh, how things are going with your team, yeah. um, it still makes a huge difference. And I know some of you might be thinking, but how can I use personal stories in a professional Absolutely, setting? Yeah. There are ways, my friends, okay. there are ways to really pull out what's very personal to you and your experiences are valuable. And I really want to um, make sure that whoever comes to the workshop uh, will understand that their background, their story is truly valuable and you can use that um, to powerfully touch people. Excellent. So storytelling is, I absolutely agree, storytelling is a, a very effective tool in, in getting your point across. Yep. So that's really good. So Natasha, tell us, you know, some of the, you know, you've been doing this work for long. So tell us some of the breakthroughs or the wins your clients have generated out of your coaching and training. I'll uh, probably give the first ever client that I had, um, where, uh, that as an example would be um, this person who was running a digital team. Um, when I sat down with him and I, and I started to ask him questions about uh, why do you do what you do? Why do you yeah. wake up every single morning? I think it was a bit of a struggle for him because um, not many of us actually think of that as a critical component sure. of yeah. uh, how we deliver our message. First and foremost, I think um, the win for him was mm. to really help him communicate why he wakes up every single morning, mm. yeah. the, his purpose and to really dig deep into um, some of the things that really touched him mm, in his career, mm, mm. that impacted him. And so it allowed, it, it, it almost seemed like it released him from yeah. uh, an, an sort of like a limbo zone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and some of us can be journeying through life in limbo without even realizing it. Absolutely. And that's okay. 
Um, but if you really want to reach a greater potential, I genuinely believe you've got to start with why. And that's why I love Simon Sinek so I much. Know, yeah. uh, you know, his principles really work. It's worked in my own life. Sure. And I think I've found purpose as well. So yeah. first and foremost, as a coach, the biggest wins are when people really understand their purpose yeah. and then uh, go forth to communicating that purpose with yeah. their teams, with yeah. their clients, with yeah. uh, people, with their family. You know, it really starts Absolutely. from scratch all over again, which is a brilliant thing for me. It's very rewarding. Excellent. All right. Yeah. So thanks, Natasha, for, for talking with us. And, you know, we really look forward to, you know, seeing all of you on 21st of July, a very unique workshop that Indian professionals in Victoria is bringing to you. Uh, feel free to contact me or the IPV team to learn more about it. Look forward Absolutely. to seeing you, Natasha. Thank you so much, Nesha. Really look forward to seeing you guys. It's going to be fun, engaging. It's time to get excited. See you guys soon. Thank you.